This is a quick video about shading techniques. If you're a cartoonist, or if you're producing work to be put into a newspaper, you can't actually use grays. You need to create the grays by using black ink that is placed in proximity to other black ink in a way that it creates the illusion of having those middle gray values. Take a look at the picture that you have before you, and I'm going to show you three of the four different techniques that we need to discuss. Please take a look at the two areas that I've circled. Both of those areas contain something called hatching. Hatching is a type of shading that occurs when you place lines next to other lines. They can be straight or they can be curved. But if you place them in proximity to one another, you can create the illusion of those in-between values. For example, if I put these lines very close together, they will look very dark. Whereas if I start spreading them out, it'll look much lighter. The value over in this area does look darker than the value over in this area, obviously because the paper is showing through more over here. Now please take a look at the area that I've circled now. That's called cross-hatching. Cross-hatching is what you get when hatching crosses other hatching either once, twice, three times, or even more, just so that the whole surface isn't blackened in. I'm now going to do some cross-hatching for you. First I place a series of lines that's hatching. Now I'm going to do cross-hatching. Notice if I put the lines close together, I get dark. If I put the lines farther apart, I get light. Dark, light, cross-hatching. Now I'd like you to take a look at the circle in the middle of the eye. Notice how it's totally black. This is called inking in. And it's very easy to ink in an area that's going to be produced in a newspaper or in a cartoon because you just take whatever material you're using that's black, whether it be a pen, an ink pen, or a fiber tip or felt tip pen, and just fill in the area totally, 100% in black. That's called inking in. Not even a little bit of white is showing. The last type of shading that I need to talk to you about is called stippling. Stippling is when you use a series of dots placed close together, gives you a darker value because less of the white paper is showing through. Dots placed farther apart will appear to be a lighter area. And so you can regulate what values are produced by how many dots you place in proximity to one another. As you can see over here, closer together, darker, farther apart, lighter. Let's zoom in on this picture. Can you see the separate dots that the artist used to create the different values? It's quite amazing the amount of detail you can get simply by using stippling. Let's review. Hatching, a series of parallel lines placed near one another in order to create value. Cross-hatching, a series of parallel lines put across one another in order to create value. Inking in, a totally blackened in area in order to create a 10 value. And stippling, a series of dots placed next to one another in order to create value. Go ahead and practice these and use them in your work you'll find that they add great variety and great interest to your finished artwork.